In the 19th century, Olive Oatman, a woman from the United States, became famous for being captured and subjugated by the Mojave tribe, an indigenous community from the area now known as Arizona. After spending five years as a captive, Olive experienced a life-changing event when she was finally rescued by a group of white explorers. Annie Oakley, an iconic figure of the Old West, gained renown as the most skilled shooter of her era. Her unmatched dexterity and precision turned her into a true legend. She mastered the art of shooting to such a degree that she could hit targets with astounding accuracy, effortlessly surpassing formidable challenges. Bell Star, famous as the Queen of Outlaws, lived a life full of twists and controversies on the American Old West frontier. The course of Bell's life took a completely different direction when her family moved to Texas in 1866. It was in this challenging and unstable environment that Bell found a new path, diving headfirst into the world of crime. After the frenzy of the California Gold Rush, a craze for wealth, miners explored the territory in every direction, driven by the hope of discovering vast amounts of gold. However, reality often proved relentless. Despite their tireless efforts and fervent hopes, most of these miners did not achieve the desired success. Before achieving fame as one of the most celebrated figures of the American Old West, the legendary Buffalo Bill Cody, William Frederick Cody, served with distinction as a soldier in the Union Army during the American Civil War. What made Cody remarkable was his extraordinary ability to travel long distances on foot, even in enemy territory. James Butler Hickok, widely known as Buffalo Bill, earned that iconic nickname due to his remarkable prowess in bison hunting. In 1893, Buffalo Bill took an even more significant step by founding the renowned Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show. In this show, cowboys and Native Americans presented the public with a dramatic and thrilling vision of the Old West. The dated image from 1903 captures a historically significant moment, revealing an African-American sheriff mounted on his magnificent horse in the lands of Pocatello, Idaho. This unique photo serves as vivid evidence of a little-known fact. During that period, approximately one in four cowboys were of African descent. Wyatt Earp, one of the most prominent figures of the Old West, is widely recognized as one of the most famous lawmen of his time. His name is closely associated with the legendary gunfight at the O.K. Corral, a notorious showdown that became his most famous feat. He was known for his unwavering determination in confronting the criminals that plagued the towns of the Wild West. The herding of cattle is a tradition deeply rooted in human history, dating back to ancient times. However, it was only in the 1860s that a revolutionary approach emerged, the ocean-style cattle drive. This innovative method involved the formation of waves of skilled cowboys, creating a new dynamic in the process. Calamity Jane, one of the most renowned cowgirls of the Old West, is widely recognized for her unwavering determination and strong personality. Her exceptional skills set her apart in a male-dominated world. However, her fame extends beyond equestrian feats. She also became known for her prowess in card games, particularly at the poker tables. This stunning color photograph vividly portrays the construction of a railway bridge in the Green River Valley, located in Wyoming, in the year 1868. Upon examining the image, one can appreciate the meticulous details of the progressing structure, with its robust wooden beams and carefully positioned scaffolding. In the 19th century, an era filled with courage and adventure, numerous brave families embarked on a journey towards the American West. With the aim of rebuilding their lives and seeking fortune, these fearless pioneers faced challenges that seemed unimaginable. James Butler Hickok, known in history as Wild Bill Hickok, achieved fame and notoriety as a skilled gunslinger. His proficiency with weapons, combined with his imposing presence and innate sense of justice, made him a feared and respected figure on the Wild West frontier. Hickok was involved in duels and faced a series of opponents, establishing himself as one of the most legendary gunslingers of his time. During the second half of the 19th century, 
Geronimo played a central role as a leader and strategist, leading a series of daring attacks against the armed forces of the United States and Mexico. His fearless resistance and tactical abilities elevated him to the status of an icon in the fight for self-determination and the preservation of the culture and lands of indigenous peoples. During the thrilling era of the gold rush, an intense quest for wealth, opportunities, and a promising future, a large crowd of people from diverse ethnic and religious backgrounds was irresistibly drawn to California and other southwestern states of the United States. After the end of the Civil War in 1865, a significant number of freed slaves chose to embark on a journey towards the West. For these individuals, migration to the West not only meant physically escaping the chains of slavery, but also seeking opportunities to thrive and build a more promising future. Billy the Kid, a legendary figure of the Old West, is widely recognized as one of history's most famous outlaws. His nomadic and fugitive life led him to cross borders, always staying one step ahead of the authorities. He was involved in various deadly confrontations and disputes with other outlaws, gaining a reputation as a skilled gunslinger with quick draw abilities. The captured image outside the Arlington Motel in Tombstone, Arizona, in 1882 transports us to the vivid perspective of the spectators who witnessed the historic gunfight at the famous OK Corral. In this visual portrait of the past, we can glimpse the tense atmosphere and turbulent context of the town. Dodge City, Kansas, is a city that carries a remarkable legacy in the stories of the American Old West, often portrayed in classic Western films, works of fiction, and historical accounts. The mere mention of its name evokes images of duels, saloons, and fearless gunslingers. Bull Chief, a prominent leader of the Crow tribe, lived a life full of thrilling and courageous adventures. Unfortunately, his fate was tragically interrupted by the inexorable westward expansion. Initially, his early years were dedicated to the defense and protection of settlements alongside his warrior people, the Crow, in a region they considered their home. The dated image from 1908 reveals a fascinating scene, the meticulous recreation of a saloon for an exhibition. This recreation, called the Klondike Dance Hall, was so detailed in its construction that it elicited a strong reaction, leading to its brief closure during the event. The story of Jimmy McKinn is an extraordinary narrative of a young boy who was abducted by the Apaches at the age of 11. While under the care of the Apaches, Jimmy immersed himself in their culture and way of life. He learned their traditions, language, and survival skills. Despite the initial traumatic circumstances, the boy adapted to life in the tribe, forming bonds and connections with its members. In the years following the famous gunfight at the OK Corral and its aftermath, Wyatt Earp embarked on a new phase of his life, filled with diverse experiences and ventures. After leaving his career as a lawman behind, Earp embraced his entrepreneurial spirit, seeking opportunities in various fields. One of Wyatt Earp's notable endeavors was his foray into the mining industry. Portsmouth Square, with deeply intertwined roots in the history of Yerba Buena, later known as San Francisco, was established in 1833 with the purpose of being the vibrant center of the developing community. In tribute to the USS Portsmouth, a warship of the United States Navy that played a significant role in the region, the square was named Portsmouth Square. The saloons of the Old West hold an undeniable allure, evoking vivid images of thrilling card games, heated brawls, and tense standoffs that took place behind their iconic swinging doors. These distinctive establishments spread throughout the American West, accompanying the movement of settlers and cowboys in search of new opportunities. In the late 19th century, the physical advancement of the American West was greatly propelled by the efforts of Chinese immigrants who sought a better life and opportunities in the United States. These tireless and dedicated workers left a significant impact on the history of westward expansion. The photograph, captured by John C. H. Grable on July 4, 1887, reveals the imposing presence of three Native American men who survived the legendary Battle of Little Bighorn. This historic conflict, 
which took place on June 25, 1876, witnessed the alliance of the Lakota, Cheyenne, and Arapaho tribes, who bravely confronted the 7th Cavalry Regiment of the United States Army. This photograph was taken at some point in the 1870s and showcases a vast pile of buffalo skulls, a somber reminder of the destructive campaign by the United States Army to exterminate Native American populations in North America. During that time, Native Americans relied heavily on buffalo for their sustenance, food, clothing, and shelter. The fur trade in America has a long history dating back to the 18th century. During this time, European colonizers and Native Americans established a thriving network of animal fur exchange, particularly beaver pelts, in exchange for weapons, knives, and other goods. These furs were exported to Europe, where there was a significant demand for fur products. Jesse James, one of the many outlaws of the Old West, followed an infamous path that began when he served as a soldier in the Confederate Army during the American Civil War. While he is often portrayed as a kind of modern-day Robin Hood, stealing from the rich to give to the poor, there is no evidence to support this depiction of his personality or motivations. Roy Bean, a legendary character in the American Southwest, became known as the Law West of the Pecos. His eccentric and feared personality made him a memorable figure in the realm of law at the time. As a self-proclaimed hanging judge, he conducted trials in makeshift locations, often in bars and taverns. That is absolutely true. When discussing the Old West, the stories and achievements of men are often emphasized. However, it is of utmost importance to recognize that the women who faced the challenges of westward expansion in the 19th century were equally resilient and courageous in their struggle for survival and success. A land rush in Oklahoma is an extraordinary event that ranks among the most impressive moments in U.S. history. On April 22, 1889, the vast territory of Oklahoma was officially opened for land sales, triggering an unprecedented rush. On that day, approximately 50,000 people, eager to secure their share of land, gathered at the borders of the territory. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel to not miss future content and leave a like.